and welcome to another SY Diagnostics video and in today's video we've got a Transit Torneo Custom that's got an airbag light on. As always let's prove the fault so I'm sat in the car now or in the van even put the ignition on and the airbag light obviously comes on does its self test airbag light will go out and it comes straight back on again. So that's proving that the airbag light is on obviously and we've also got a tire pressure monitoring light on but obviously that could be another fault that we could look at as well. Um, so yeah, so let's go look at some live data now, let's get some fault codes up, see what fault code we've got, um, see if there's any possible live data values we can look at. And so we're doing a network test now, we've got a fault code in the PCM with a thermostat, uh, quite a common problem that. Nothing to worry about for this concern. Tire pressure sensor, general signal failure, that's why the tire pressure monitoring light's on. And in the restraints control module, we've got driver side curtain deployment control two circuit open, and also a fault in the steering column control module. So let's go look at some live data. And we'll just switch over now to the RCM. Uh, obviously pre-populated the boxes there for you. Uh, two values there which I thought were going to be useful but unfortunately they're not PIDs that are too monitored. Well, as you can see there we've got left curtain deployment control one resistance at 66 ohms which is definitely an open circuit. Okay so we've got some rather confusing um, fault codes and data up. Fault code says that it's the driver's side curtain airbag and the live data does suggest that it's the left hand side and I've had this problem before on a, a new style 20 plate onwards Cougar um, still confusing but it's still even though it said left it was actually the right so either way unfortunately I do believe that the headlining is going to have to come out but before we do that to confirm whether it is the left or the right I'm going to think smarter not harder there is a multi-plug um, in line C0311 I think it is so we're going to locate that which is behind all these panels here see if we can locate the connector disconnect it put the bypass resistor in there and see if we can identify them whether we're working on the left or the right hand side if by putting the bypass resistor on this side it changes the value for the left then we know that the program unfortunately is written wrong after all. So with the UK driving on the left and the driver's side being on the right, quite often we see that the left and the right in live data is mixed up. So hopefully by bypassing the plug here, if it changes the value for the left, I'm confusing myself here, then I know I'm working on the right hand side. If by changing here, it changes the value for the right, then I know I'm working on the opposite side, if that makes any sense. I've confused myself. So let's get this stripped out and let's get it bypassed. So basically in a nutshell there, because I really confused myself as I was trying to explain it, think about it and talk about it all at the same time, I'm going to take this trim out completely, which should expose the connector as per the wiring diagram. Right, so I've got that piece of trim off. As you can see, it's been pretty fruitless. Let me just put a torch in there. Um, no way can I get to that connector C0311, which is a large 50 odd pin connector. So unfortunately, I was trying to think smarter rather than harder, but unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to go the hard route now and take the headlining down to access the curtain airbags and do some checking at the connectors. So in order to remove the headlining, I've got to take out the overhead console, um, both the sun visors, obviously the A post trim, the B post trim, both the grab handles, obviously this is on both sides, possibly the rear headlining as well, or lower it, depending whether this goes above it, or whether this joins below it, or whether they're just clipped along there, not quite sure yet, but either way, I've got to take all this nice clean headlining out to access the curtain airbags which run where my fingers pointing now on both sides and obviously i'm stood at the driver's side here on the right hand side so the one i should be working on 
is behind me. So it's taken about half an hour roughly, uh, not too bad to get the headlining down. As you can see, it's just down, resting on the back of the seats and the connector for the airbag is that little yellow connector there with the orange tab at the end of my index finger. We just move the loom out the way. So that's the connector for the driver's side airbag. So what I'm going to do now is just disconnect that and put the bypass resistor in, read the live data and see what we've got. Right, so we've got the airbag disconnected. There's the connector here. Pins look okay. So let's now look at the live data, make sure that although it says left, it probably is the right one, hopefully, that it'll still show 66 ohms. If the other one shows 66 ohms, then we've got the live data uh, on the program mixed up. So let's go switch over now to live data. And as you can see, it's still showing 66 ohms on the left curtain deployment control. So I'm now just going to put the resistor in. And as you can see with the resistor fitted, we're still showing 66 ohms. So just as a matter of interest, um, just to satisfy my mind basically, I've disconnected the curtain airbag on the passenger side, on the left hand side. And as you can see on the live data, it's now showing 66 ohms. So initially we are working definitely on the driver's side, even though it does say left curtain airbag. So on with the diagnosis. So we've established that we've got an open circuit now um, between the airbag control module and the airbag itself, because I've bypassed the airbag and the resistance still stays at 66 ohms. So the control unit for the airbag is under the uh, handbrake here. So next thing I'm going to do is just to confirm that we've got the open circuit disconnect this trims get to the module uh, and do a continuity test between the module and the airbag curtain airbag up in the driver's side roof and then potentially then they've got to locate that connector that I was looking at earlier on that C0311 which will mean taking all the body control module out stripping the dashboard down in that corner and checking there which is probably going to be a pin grip in all fairness but we have to do the job properly so let me just take this trims off and access the restraints control module. Actually, I'm going to have a change of heart and a change of plan, a change of tactics even. I'm going to disconnect the body control module, take all these trims off to access the body control module and take it out, access that big uh, CO311 multi-plug, and I'm going to split the circuit in half so I can test one half of the circuit and then identify where the problem may lie. Possibly it's going to be a pin grip issue, uh, could even be a restraints control module issue or a wiring issue. So I'm going to take all these trims out as I said and we're going to split the system in half and do some further testing. So just before I started stripping it down I thought I'd have a look at the wiring going down the A post here and what I've noticed, hoping it shows up, just there where my finger is, there's a little yellow sliver of the sleeving of the wiring. Now that's, a, I think it's a yellow and a violet. So let me see, and it's bared back. So let me just see if I can get a better shot for you. Um, potentially that could be a concern for us. So let me just go and reposition the camera. Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. I've just uh, put a different lens onto the camera. Uh, I'm not saying that definitely is gonna be the concern. It does want checking out. Still going to um, disconnect the BCM, take it out, get to the multi-plug and do a continuity test. But that doesn't look good. And if that is the airbag wire, then unfortunately for this wiring harness, with it being a safety concern, it is game over. So anyway, on with the diagnosis. So that's the body control module out. And those of you who have worked on these before will know it's a bit of a struggle to get out. Don't know who designs these vehicles. But they don't design them to be worked on. 
so that's the gap now left by the body control module I've now got to get this plastic cover off uh, to access the multi plug at the back it's just not nothing's easy in here guys I reckon this was designed by a mad Frenchman who basically hated the world at the time anyway still got it to do no point moaning so on with the job After a bit of a wrestling match, I've got the body control module uh, mounting bracket out. A bit of a tight squeeze, which then leaves us a nice gap. And there, let me see if I can point with my little finger. There you go. At the end of my little finger there is the connector where I'm going to test between there and the curtain airbag. See if we've got an open circuit that end. If it's okay that way. Bear in mind we've still got that wire to look at on the A-post. Um, so if we've got good continuity between there and the airbag, then I'm going to go the other side to the restraints control module. If that seems okay, then potentially we may have a pin grip issue in that plug. So, as Buzz Lightyear says, onwards and upwards. I think it's Buzz Lightyear. Message down below. Okay guys, so as you can see there, I'm still looking at the wires on the A-pillar. Uh, I've got the plug disconnected, but I thought I'd just have a quick look to make sure that yellow and violet wire was the right one, and it's got a twisted wire which is brown and white, which is the corresponding wire on the airbag. And as you can see there, we've got a break in the wire. So the wire has been chafing, let me just move my hand. The wire has been chafing where my pick is here on the A-post. So unfortunately now we're looking at needing a new wiring harness and it looks like it's going to be the harness for the passenger compartment which will mean the complete headlining taking out, probably all the interior trims. This, my friends, is an absolute shit job. But that's what we get paid for. So, found the issue. Uh, again, just a one-off for concern. No silver bullets on this site. Uh, thanks for watching guys